I'll be good with the head, neck, and all those things like that. Knock, knock. May I come in? Come on in. Hey, Miss Corgan. Hi. I'm going to wash my hands. My name is Dola Patel, and I'm a student nurse practitioner. I hear you are here for a physical examination. Yeah, um, I'm starting nursing school, so I need a physical exam. Okay. Is there any other concerns? Um, well, I rolled my ankle yesterday at CrossFit, uh -huh. so it kind of hurts. Okay, which ankle? My left ankle. Okay. And uh, how did you hurt yourself? Well, we were running, mm -hmm. and I stepped in a hole, and it like twisted. It twisted? Yeah, but I kept running. Okay, okay. So, um, is it still hurting? Yeah, it hurts real bad. So on a scale of zero to 10, zero being no pain and 10 being the worst, how would you like to rate yourself? Um, probably a six. Did you do something for the pain, like when you hurt yourself? Yeah, um, I mean, I kept running, but when I was done, mm -hmm. we um, wrapped it up real tight and okay. elevated it uh -huh. and put some ice on it. Did it help to relieve the pain? Um, just for a little bit. Okay, did you take any medications today or? No, I don't really like taking any medications. Okay. Okay. I just deal with the pain. Okay. Um, is the pain localized or do you have radiating pain somewhere else also? Um, it kind of goes from the top of my foot and mm -hmm. moves towards my ankle, like up my ankle. Okay. So what kind of pain? Can will you be able to describe? Is it like stabbing, aching? Um, it's like throbbing and shooting. Okay. Is there any periods of the day or any activity that exaggerates the pain or relieves the pain? Um, when I walk or when I try to run or when I put any weight on it, I can't really do that. Okay, so it has affected your walking? Yeah, I just hobble. Are you able to bear uh, weight on that foot? Um, no, I just like walk on my toes. Oh, so it's like weight bearing. Yeah, toe yes. touch, weight bearing, okay. Um, so what do you do to relieve the pain? Like, what helps you? Um, ice, it numbs it. Okay, okay, okay. Um, um, is there any current medications that you're taking? Only birth control. Um, is it a pill, a patch? It's a pill. Every night I take it. Every night? Yes. Okay. Have you been pregnant? No. No, okay. No. Uh -uh. So no kids? No. Okay. I got a dog. Okay. Uh, any allergies? Um, I'm allergic to Lorta. What kind of uh, reaction do you have? I just puke a lot, so I just say I'm allergic. Like, I can't take it. It makes me puke. Okay. Do you have any kind of food allergies? No. I love food. You do? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Um, let's uh, talk about your um, medical history. Um, do you have any kind of past medical history, like any kind of... Um, illnesses or diseases that you want to? Um, I have exercise induced asthma. Oh. Yeah. That's so, um, is, apart from that, do you have any kind of chest pain or um, itching? No, no chest pain. Um, just when I run, mm -hmm. my throat just feels like it's going to close up. So what do you do about, do you take any kind of medication? Um, I have my rescue inhaler, uh -huh. but I don't really use it because that would slow me down running. Okay. Yeah. Do you have a regular provider? Yeah, I, I come to this office. Okay. Okay. Um, is there any kind of, um, do you have, you, have ever, anyone said that you have been diagnosed with hypertension, diabetes, depression, anxiety of any kind of else than the exercise induced asthma? Um, no. Okay. Um, have you ever been hospitalized or have you ever had any kind of surgery? I, I did actually, that reminds me. I had kidney stones. Oh, you did? And I had, yeah, I, had to ha I was hospitalized and had to have surgery. In which year? Um, 2012. Okay. Did you have any adverse reactions or any, um, anything concerned about the post-surgery? No, no, so we're good. I haven't had any since then. So everything went well? Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, what about family history? Your parents are still alive? Yes, mom and dad. Okay. What about your siblings? They're good. Okay, your grandparents? Um, 
my grandma, my, my dad's mom, she's sick, and my mom's mom, she's died. And uh, how old was she when she died? Um, 65. And can you tell me of what she died? Um, she died of COPD, but she was a smoker and wouldn't stop. Is there anyone else in the family who smokes? No. Okay. Uh, what about um, you? Like, do you smoke? No. What about alcohol? Nope. Drugs? Recreational nope. drugs? Nope. No. Have you ever traveled outside the country? No, I'm in nursing school, so I can't really travel. Okay. I don't have time. <laughs> what about support system? Like do you like do you have friends and family to help you? Um, I don't really have friends because mm -hmm. I'm in nursing school. But my mom, I talk to her all, all the time. Okay. Um, do you wear a seat belt while you are driving or? Yes. While you are traveling. Okay. Very good. Of course. Um, what about um, food? Uh, how many meals a day do you consume? Um, two if I'm lucky. Okay, do you cook? No, uh -uh. So, I'm in nursing school. Okay, so uh, do you frequently eat outside? Yes, it's easy, it's convenient. Okay, what about water consumption? How many cups? Or... Is water and sweet tea? Okay. Because I only drink sweet tea. What about any other beverages? Um, I'll splurge and get a Coke. Okay. How many... Uh, like uh, those beverages do you have in a day? Like two or three. Two or three, great. Um, what about um, your immunization, tetanus, flu, yes. pneumonia, are they? They're all up to date. Okay, have you ever had a blood transfusion? No, uh -uh. Okay, okay. Uh, let's talk about some of the systems of your body. Have you, do you wear contacts or um, Glasses. I'm supposed to, but they look dorky, so I don't wear them. Okay. So you did go to a, uh, an ophthalmologist, and he did prescribe you yes. something. Yes. My um, my right eye is twenty twenty five. It's okay. just for reading and computer work. Okay. Uh, what about hearing? Do you have any kind of hearing problems? Um. No. Okay. Um. Any kind of headache or um. No, not a not a usual one. Okay, so you do have headaches every Just when I get like a cold or something. Okay, okay. What about your, uh, were you ever diagnosed of any heart problems like murmurs or? Nope. No. Nope. Um, diabetes, hypertension. No, um, my dad has hypertension he and does. high cholesterol. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. What about your mom? Does she have anything? Nope, she's perfect. Um, and I, I remember you saying that your um, maternal grandmom has expired, right? Yes. What about your father's side? Is she diagnosed with any kind of... She has, um, she's pre-diabetic. She is. Okay. Yes, and she has hypertension and high cholesterol. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, do you have any kind of respiratory problems? Like, I know you uh, mentioned that you have exercise-induced asthma. But do you have any kind of shortness of breath or um, no difficulty breathing or no, just asthma? Breathing? Just, just the asthma. Okay. Um, what kind of um, stomach problems do you have? Do you have like um, stomach pain or nausea, vomiting? Um, when I think of some something that makes me nervous mm -hmm. or anxious, uh -huh. I get sick to my stomach. Like I have diarrhea. Oh, okay. Yeah. What do you do about it? I go to the bathroom. Do you take any kind of medication? Have you ever consulted a provider? No, no. I think it's just from being in nursing school. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, what kind of... Uh, sorry. Um, your bowel movements, uh -huh. like how many times... Do you have diarrhea? Like, I know that you mentioned diarrhea only when you're nervous. Mm -hmm. But do you have any, like, constipation or... No, I'm pretty regular once or twice a day. Once or twice yeah. a day. And um, what kind of uh, stool do you have? Like, are they, like formed well, brown, do they have foul smelling? I mean, they're normal. They're normal? Normal. Uh, <coughs> how many times a day you do you use the restroom, like like uh, urinating, peeing? Oh, a lot. Okay. But I think it's because I drink a lot of water when you I'm do? at CrossFit. That's that's yeah, that's great. the only time I drink water. Okay, that's the only time you drink? At CrossFit, water. yes. So when you have your meals, do you also drink water along with it, or? No, I just sweet tea. 
Okay, so the rest of the day is sweet tea. Yes. It's only when you are exercising, is that? Yes. Apart from CrossFit, is there any other things that you do, like exercise, walk, like walking, running, jogging? No, no. Mm -mm. Okay, okay. Uh, any kind of skin problems, like itching, redness, or an irregular growth, or uh, a bump or a lump that's there for that's no. been there? No, I'm pretty good. No bumps, lumps. Okay. okay. Apart from that, uh, the left ankle uh -huh. that you have, which I see is a bit swollen also, um, there is no other concerns. No, I'm good. Okay. Uh, what about um, your sleeping? Do you sleep well, Miss Kogan? No, I don't sleep at all. Ever. What are your sleeping hours? Um, well, I don't really sleep. I get home at like 11 30 and then by the time I've done showering and calming down it's like one o'clock and then I can't get to sleep and then I wake up early because my my friend has to go to work do you feel refreshed enough uh, despite the inadequate sleep that you have no I'm always tired it affects your uh, body of work yeah I could go to take a nap right now okay and um, what about your appetite do you eat well um well i don't cook so anytime i can make it to a fast food restaurant i eat okay um any anxiety or depression just from nursing school okay um have you ever had the thought of harming yourself or others uh -uh, no okay. um do you uh visit your OBGYN on a regular basis? Once a year, like she tells me to. Okay. Uh, do you do regular breast examination? Once a year, when I go to the doctor, her hands are cold. Okay, okay, so it's only when you go to the provider's office yes. that's you can okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, any kind of musculoskeletal problems apart from the um, ankle problem? Then do you have any kind of scoliosis? Have been ever diagnosed of scoliosis, skyphosis, or any kind of joint problem, arthritis, or? Uh uh, no, I'm good. Okay. I think uh, we have covered most of the questions that is required for a physical examination. Thank you, Miss Corrigan. Thank you.